Hi guys, it's Teresa. Welcome back to my channel. So, since the year 2017 is almost over, which I really can't believe, I wanted to do the end of the year book tag today. It's basically just a tag um, sort of assessing your reading month so far, or your reading month, your reading year so far, and also like looking at things that you might still want to get through in December, and uh, also some outlooks in 2018. So, let's get started. question is, are there any books you started this year that you need to finish? Um, I really need to finish Yes Please by Amy Poehler. It's not necessarily a book I... St I mean, I just started it again, but like I started it years ago and I really need to finish it. And the same goes for The Wand by Marlene Haushofer. Both of these are books that I have to read for Project TBR. And I haven't technically started them this year, but I have started them and I need to finish them this year, so it's at least half the question. Do you have an autumnal book to transition into the end of the year? I'm not really sure what that means. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I wouldn't even know what books of mine are autumnal books, so I'm just picking a random one that I feel like maybe in terms of the mood of the, the, the story is like, is, is sort of what that, it's meant by the question, I'm not sure. But that is, um, do not say we have nothing, Madeline Thien. I'm currently reading this book and I'm almost halfway through. It's a little bit depressing because of the, the story matter. It's set um, both in the 1990s in the US, and, or in Canada, sorry, and in the 1950s, 60s, 70s, um, 80s, I think, too, in China. Um, and obviously discussing all of the political and, and sort of yeah, cultural changes that ha the country went through in that time and like how that affected the people in it. It's not a happy-go-lucky book in any in any way. It's, it definitely makes you think a lot and it also has this like muted vibe going on um, that, that I feel like, I don't know, when I when I think of winter, that's also the feeling I get. Um, or like autumn, you know, the trees have no leaves and the colors slowly leaking out of the world. Like that's a little bit what this book feels like so far at the very least. Number three, is there a new release that you're still waiting for? I don't think so. I honestly, this year, I have not been reading many new releases at all. I definitely read a lot of 2016 releases, but barely any new releases for this year. And I also kind of stopped um, towards the middle of the year, like looking in into anything that's gonna be coming out because I feel like I'd much rather have people like give their first impression and then me reading it because I have so many other books that I still need to read and get through and um, I can't, I'm not really like, oh my god, I need to get the, the latest release like immediately. What are three books you want to read before the end of the year? The very first is your short story collection by Haruki Murakami and I borrowed this from my university library and I've so far extended the loan like twice, I don't know, um, because it's in Japanese and I just like haven't been in the mood to read it, what with all the Chinese studying and stuff going on. I didn't want to ruin my Chinese <laughs> with the Japanese, um, not that that's I don't think that's possible, but anyway, this is um, Kami no Kodomo Tachi wa Minna Odoru and it the, somehow, well the literal translation is All the God's Children Are Dancing The official translation is After Dark, that's the short story collection And uh, yeah, I thought um, short story collection would be nice because you can kind of dip in and out of it and, and you feel more accomplished to be like, oh, I've read one story. But then again, it's Haruki Murakami and I think his Japanese is very advanced, so I don't know. Maybe that's also what's been kind of putting me off. But I really want to read it, maybe in the Christmas holidays. That'd be a great time. The second book I would love to read, um, oh, actually it's two books, and that is uh, <laughs> His Dark Materials by Philip Pullman. So this is the bind up of all three and I just read the first one in November and I really want to read the final two books in December. I think this particularly is a very atmospheric series and reading it in winter it just feels special and it feels, I don't know, it just like matches the feeling that you get when reading the book. It's like when you look outside at the snow or whatever, hopefully we get snow, global warming, thank you very much. And the final book I really want to finish this year because I need to film a review on the entire series is Acceptance by Jeff Van Der Meer. I've been waiting to finish the series for so long and I really just like want to be done with it and uh, be able to give you guys my opinion on it. Number five, is there a book you think could still shock you and become your favorite book of the year? The question kind of gives me like five star prediction tag vibes. Um, it's very difficult to say. I tried doing that tag and it's just like, I have no idea. 
Um, like ideally all the books I buy, I want them to be five stars. <laughs> but um, this is one that I can see it happen with definitely and that is Out by Natsu Kirino. I just like really enjoyed Grotesque and so many people have said Grotesque isn't as good as Out. I gave Grotesque four stars so this could be a five star book. It's, it's definitely on the horizon. Natsu Kirino writes wonderfully and uh, very creepy stories and disturbing stories and I am really excited to jump into this one. This by the way follows a woman who works in a factory to make bento lunches and uh, I think she's like in a fringe circle of four people and one of the women murders someone and the other try to cover it up. I don't know, it sounds creepy and crazy and uh, exactly like something I would enjoy. And finally, have you already started making reading plans for 2018? I have in the sense that I have been thinking about what I want to put on my project TBR for 2018 and also that I've been thinking about what are my most anticipated releases because both of these are going to be video uh, topics that I will be filming about um, probably very soon and uh, I needed to sort of start thinking earlier on, like make some preparations. Apart from that, I don't really like the concept of reading plans. I feel like my reading plans are already very apparent in the types of books that I buy because obviously that implies that I want to read them and I think it's also been apparent recently that I'm, I'm departing from YA. Even though I did a video like a year ago saying I was doing that, I didn't do it as completely as it's happening now. I just like don't feel any need or desire to read any sort of YA book and it doesn't mean that I'll never read one again I really hope I do because I still have some unread ones that I need to get through but I just haven't been able they haven't been able to catch my interest as much as adult books have and I've just they've just like I, I don't know it feels like an, the, my eyes have been opened to this whole new world of, <laughs> of of fiction that is so much more that has so much more substance and that is so much more diverse and that is so much more interesting and engrossing and terrifying and lovely and I just don't want to go back to YA books. That was kind of off topic but <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching today's video. Let me know in the comments down below if you have made any reading plans for 2018 or what books you're still planning on reading in the rest of 2017. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you very soon with another video. Like, subscribe, the usual and uh, come back very soon. I will see you then. Have a lovely week. Bye!